we've all found ourselves in this situation. A terrorist, with 1 HP, is about to get in his car and leave. You're sitting there hopelessly at CT spawn, with a decoy and your buddy. What do you do? First, we're going to need to find the best position on the screen to point the crosshair. Luckily, there are two commands to help me. Set pause for positioning, and set ang for setting my view angle. I set my coordinates to throw in the same position for my normal and jump throw, and set a macro to throw right as I cross the line for running and jump running throws. I then changed my set ang to throw in the same direction. The set pause digits went in the order of x, z, y in terms of coordinates. For set ang, the first digit adjusted direction, the second digit was for height, and the third digit changed my tilt. When adjusting the middle digit to go up, I needed to set the digit to a negative number weirdly. I threw a 0, meaning straightforward, negative 10, negative 20, negative 30, and negative 40 angle decoy as a normal throw. I'll have the numbers on the screen, but in summary, 30 flew the farthest, followed by 40, 20, 10, and 0. In the same position, I threw a 30, 35, and 40 decoy to find what range was best. 35 went the farthest, so then was the middle terms. 34, 35, 36, 35 won. I tested multiple times and it continually was true. This means that 35 is the best angle to throw at. I tested it after with the other throws. Jumping wielded 25 is best, running yielded 40, and jumping running throws had 30. Now that we have the position, we need to find out how far our throws go. All I had to do was subtract the distance it landed, minus the starting middle digit. Here's what I found. A normal throw travels around 1,768 units. A jumping throw travels around 2,603 units. A running throw travels around 2,896 units. And a running jump throw travels around 4,328 units. I put around because of the seemingly absent pattern. With angles, it was clear that there was a pattern in the multiples of 5. However, there weren't any when measuring the distance they traveled. I compared it with time measurements, and with them all being within a unit of each other, I don't know what to do. If anybody has a solution, please fix. So that's it. Looks like that pesky T is getting away. Oh well, test the... Wait a minute. What's that? <gasps> Why? It's my run boosting pal! Can they save the day? Using Trillix's run boost scripts with bots, I'm able to accurately test this combined with the run jumping throw macro. 40 was the best angle, but surely this mechanic can't save the day, can it? Let's measure. Well, I'll be damned. A whopping 6,614 units. In comparison, that is similar to comparing a jumping throw to a run jump throw. Is this enough to get that T? Another day saved. Well, in conclusion, if you want to throw a grenade far, grab a buddy. Or just give it to an iBuy power member. If anything, just don't give it to Dennis.